do you eat when you are angry, sad, frustrated, bored, you know, any emotion? It can be really draining and we can end up putting on weight. <laughs> well, in this video, I'm gonna help you manage those emotions so that we stop turning to food to manage them instead. So hi, I'm Vanessa McLennan and I help people with their eating disorders by working on the cause and also healing the inner them. So before I get going though, please click on the subscribe button, click on the bell to be notified of my next video. <laughs> Your eating disorder is never about food. Yet so many times we try to heal, you know, our eating issues with food. So in other words, we might go on a diet, we restrict ourselves, we, you know, deny ourselves food, um, or we only allow ourselves t certain types of food, for instance. Now, you can understand it if you perhaps are binging because, you know, you don't want to binge, obviously. So you think that by stopping yourself binging or, you know, restricting something is going to stop that binge. And I think that certainly might work in the short term. But that's what this denying and working with food is. It's a short term solution. So <laughs> what do you need to do for a long term solution? Well, we can really heal the causes of our eating issues by working on the inner us and which is actually a lot of the time working from our childhood but not necessarily so in my experience a lot of the time our eating issues do come from events or mild events or just even the childhood that we had growing up caused us for whatever reason to turn to food so it can be as mild as having you know emotionally immature parents or it can be as severe as having you know physical sexual or psychological abuse as children in a supportive environment we learn to you know manage these emotions one by just being allowed to feel them so you know when you're a child and you scream and you shout or you cry you know just being allowed to do that actually helps the child learn what the emotion is um, although they can't name them but they still allow the child to you know feel that emotion and then what that does is you know as we get older and our parents hopefully guide us you know by like not screaming in other words by saying to us you know not scream here that's not appropriate but also by talking to us what is it you're feeling are you feeling angry it helps us manage those emotions and then as we hopefully get older we know how to process those emotions we know how to manage them appropriately and use them appropriately but obviously in a childhood where it's uh, not supported where you know we have emotionally immature parents who never learn how to manage their own emotions who've got very childish behaviors themselves uh, or we're told to you know shut up and stop crying uh, and, and sort of that on the neglectful side we are never going to experience them and so hence what can happen is we can get really overwhelmed by them we don't know how to manage them we don't know how to process them we think our emotions are bad or they're wrong so we try to suppress them and then what that energy does is it gets stuck in our bodies uh, and our mental development then you know we develop around that energy that's stuck um, imagine like a spider web you know it sort of finds a perfect corner but instead of a perfect corner it's found you know something in the way and it builds its web you know around it it is still a functional web now and that spider has learnt then to build that web in the best of its surroundings using what it's got well that's like us as children you know we might not have an ideal environment but we learn to develop ourselves around what we've got at that time so here are five tips to help you manage your emotions so that you no longer turn to food to suppress them feel the feeling so this is actually just sitting and experiencing and feeling the feeling that we're going to feel i think in society and as children especially if we are told to you know shut up to stop crying um you know we're not allowed to cry to shout or to get angry we slowly learn to you know switch off from those emotions and especially in society those emotions tend to be you know shunned because they're not acceptable are they so we learn to suppress them now the more that we suppress them you know we start to ignore them but of course they don't magically go away on their own um you know it's like a pressure cooker you know the more we get stored and stuff it in and stuff it in the more it builds and then eventually it explodes and the way it explodes what we see is either yeah, outbursts of anger or frustration or we sometimes go totally inward you know we cut off from the world 
Um, and that's when you might see then behaviours like binge eating or other eating disorders because you have got so much sort of turmoil going on within us that we've never been allowed to let it out. So it's got to come out some way. So what we can do is we've got to start identifying and connecting with these feelings and learning, our unconscious has got to learn that these feelings are okay. They are not wrong, right? They are a part of us. So the next time we feel like we want to binge, we want to have an urge of something to eat, you know, that, that we don't want to eat, obviously. I'm not talking about one chocolate. I'm talking about, you know, we're going to go for the whole pack of biscuits here. Get your phone and put it on a timer of one minute, all right? And just sit, sit, sit in that feeling, all right? Just experience it. Just feel it. Just observe it. You're just noticing. That's all. Now, a lot of the time, we perhaps might find it's really difficult to do because it's painful. You know, feelings that come up for us might be shame, you know, pain, um, embarrassment, guilt, and they are not nice feelings to feel. So, of course, we perhaps want to suppress them. But just by feeling them is also telling our unconscious that it's okay to feel these. We get used to these feelings and then we can handle more of these feelings. And the more they start coming up, the less... Well, that pressure cooker eases and the less we're going to turn to food. So give that a go. Name the feeling. So when you're in that moment of mm. whatever it is, that intense emotion that you're feeling, if you're sitting with it and you're feeling it, it try to then put a name to it. So this isn't about, you know, your English vocabulary or, you know, having a wide array of emotional names. It's actually just getting clarity on that emotion because when we can sort of get clarity, we're connecting with it. And then when we can perhaps name it, we're identifying with that part of ourselves and we can start to just learn to be a bit more curious about it. What we're all the time trying to do is get what is in our unconscious and bring it up into our conscious. So bring it to our awareness because then with our awareness, we can start to deal with it and manage it. And it becomes a lot easier to manage than when it is stuck in that unconscious. It's like, you know, removing, let's say, a black cloud of anger or a black cloud of that emotion and starting to see it go light grey to white, really. So whatever that emotion is, just just put some names to it. So I know when I'm in this, you know, and I'm like, oh, I'm irritated, I'm angry, I'm frustrated. And even if you don't have a name, it can just be like, Grr. it can just be like, angsty it could be like du, 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 du. <laughs> whatever the name is right it's so long as you know what it means <laughs> and thank that emotion so this is about again connecting connecting to that emotion now this emotion can be really painful sometimes especially you know shame guilt you know anger they're hard emotions and painful emotions to feel so we want them to go away not actually sort of thank them and love it but actually doing that does help it go away because we're connecting to a part of us a part of us that at the moment we are not wanting to be a part of us so actually bringing that you know loving it and thanking it is accepting that emotion and accepting that at the moment it is a part of us and then once we sort of again thank it we can start to perhaps thank and think why is it here for us what is the benefit it is serving us what purpose is it serving us so for instance i know when i want to like reach you know reach out for the chocolate and i'm feeling irritated you know Oh, irritated, stuck, you know, angry. So, you know, I'm like, oh, right, I've got to know that this is how it is that I'm feeling. And then when I go, oh, or even if I don't have to be in that moment, if I think about, you know, the times when perhaps, or think about the times when you go to binge, what is it that you felt beforehand? You know, think of those emotions and then think, well, why? Why is it, you know, what purpose? How can I thank it, thank those emotions? And when I go back into my emotions, I think, well, what was the purpose of me getting angry? And it's because I was feeling stuck. I wasn't feeling good about myself and I was feeling not good enough. Um, like I was really sort of, you know, a bit useless with what I was doing. And I know reaching for the chocolate was going to be a lot better feeling than feeling those emotions. But by thanking them, I'm able to then go, okay, interesting. Thank you. Thank you so much for telling me that I'm not good enough, actually I am good enough. Do you see? So we can reverse what it is that we're perhaps really, really feeling underneath. Give yourself some positive words. So this is positive words and encouragement and compassion along the way. 
So it's a bit like training and what we're trying to do is reverse what we're feeling at the moment. So at the moment we're feeling, you know, let's say low, bad, uh, angry with ourselves and that is causing us to go and binge, right? Or go and have this eating disorder. And what we want to do is feel, you know, up here, good, happy, positive, right? It doesn't mean we're going to be up here all the time, but we do want to start, you know, feeling more and more of this and less of this. So it's like training, okay? Because the more that we can start to come up here and stay up here, obviously the less likely we are to go and eat. So, but we're not going to sort of get up here and stay up here all the time. So you know when you go out for a run, if you've never been running before, you might start off by running one minute and then you know you get used to that and you run two minutes and then used to it and so forth and then it goes on until you can run marathon. <laughs> right? So what you've got to do is by giving ourselves you know these words of encouragement, even just saying things like, Oh well done, well done Vanessa, oh good job or even just like I love you Vanessa. You know if you want to do the tapping, even just you know I love and accept myself for who I am that helps us get into the positive feeling and then the more that we can learn to stay there hence the better we feel the more positive we feel about ourselves the less likely we are to then come back and stay here all the time and the less likely we are to binge let me know in the comments what you think find the joy in your life so what do you love doing what gives you real pleasure and do more of it because again it's going to you know connect with this inner spark and passion and again it's going to help us keep on this high i really struggled like perhaps so many others in lockdown because i love doing things like yoga pilates and ballet and going out walking now all of those you might say yeah i can do that you know at home um but it's just not the same as going to a yoga class or going to a gym and if you love doing things you know which has involved lots of other people it's a real struggle not to be able to you know join and connect with others so find the joy as much as you can until we're nearly out of lockdown <laughs> so finding that again it just brings the joy in your life and it's also telling ourselves that we are worth it you know that we value ourselves and that we're again connecting to this inner happiness which we so deserve. <laughs>